Hello, I wanted to demonstrate the two layer make anything machine in ShapeZ2 that they came up with. Um, so it contains currently out of two parts, which is each making one layer. Let's see, here's machine cyan and machine magenta, which corresponds to the channels. And Let's take a quick look at the modules in a grand overview. We have a depot module and a rotator. We have a painting module and a initial stacking for one layer module. The goal is to create a random shape. We're talking only on the over the random operator shape zero, which is basically this right now. Sadly, it's not it's not painted, but it doesn't matter at this point in time. So these two operator shapes will be randomly decided after um, and change every single level. So you produce some and then you gain a level and you have to produce a different shape altogether. And the game also suggests that you are <laughs> that you should make a MAM or well, a make anything machine. And that's basically what I did. So this machine generates the uh, the cyan version of this. So this I split up the shape that comes in. Um, let me put a signal here so it's actually visible. What's there? Here. So this is the shape. That's splitting it up into two layers. And each of the machines is taking care of one of those layers. So the cyan one is doing this and the magenta one is doing this. So it gets rotated and split into parts, or well, it gets split into parts, rotated, painted, stacked, and then there's a final stacking going on. So the way this machine works is that it requires an input of single piece tiles in a top right orientation and to make these i made some extractors normally you just extract pieces and take them out but this is they are full fully shaped and i don't need that i need actual single piece shapes like these ones so the way this works is well it's a perfectly balanced anything extractor. So basically, the, uh, you set up which part or what tile you want here, and this will split it apart completely, equally, and throw it into the belts in two layers. So it generates four belts worth of uh, single piece tiles. And the good, nice or interesting thing about this is that it works with any shape that you throw into it. So, for example, um, on this side I have somewhere here. It produces uh, this one produces these kinds of shapes, and this still manages to extract exactly the um, the shape I need to process it with, and it balances it out from eight conveyors onto eight conveyors equally so they are filled equally fast and can be used equally fast you can in theory put it into anything as long as you select the shape that you want it will extract exactly that and only that so let's see so if we look at the um cu type of shape this is cu so the first row here is all rotated to the top right. Whichever part is coming in is gonna be top right. The second row is gonna be rotated to the bottom right, third row on the bottom left, and the final row on the top left. So you have all kinds of permutations of each shape as possible. And depending on the signal that comes in, it will output only the shape that I currently need. Then I have four different trains that will take it everything and throw it into the painters. Painters take all the shapes, which come in two rows, split them into single lanes, 
or throw them away if the shape is not needed anymore. Then there is an optional painting step, which is getting skipped here as there is no paint needed. It will again be checked for paint, um, paint and shape and if it doesn't fit or if the top right part or whichever part is currently produced doesn't fit, it gets thrown away. Otherwise, it gets thrown into this train and moves on for stacking. And this happens for every single corner separately. Well, there's nothing here since there's the shape doesn't have a bottom left corner. And then it goes into the stacker. This part does the right halves, as you can see here. And this part does the left half. So the way this works is there is another checker here which checks for shape, splits it into two rows. Well, no, it doesn't split it. This one either moves it on for stacking or spits it out to the side. You spit it out to the side if there is nothing to stack with on the other side. So if the if this side would be nothing, then you could still output this shape. And with that, I have one part of the, well, you have one side. The same thing happens on the other side. And then there is the final stacking part where you take one side and the other and stack it all together into the final layer that is de uh, demanded, which is getting spread out to here. Here, another check happens for the shape and it will then be thrown onto this train. The train moves it over here, where it's getting extracted into eight lanes again, and it basically does a very similar thing as the stacking the separate thing, separate um, halves, but this time it does it with layers. So you have one layer coming from here, one layer coming from the other machine, and it gets stacked up into the final part that is random operator shape zero and put into a train and then transport it all the way into the uh, uh, into the vortex and this is already done you can see this is a different shape now so we have this kind of shape and now the machine will start working it will take a while until it ramps up but this part um the cyan machine is gonna make the top part which is uh, this one and the other one is gonna do this part so that means in this case we all ha we all have these su parts and as you can see they are already getting started uh, getting put into the machine all separate corners of them and everything that currently exists in the stacks will just get discarded and then the uh, machine will be filled with the new stacks eventually. It's a bit problematic here since there was some backup, so I'm just gonna empty these. Everything else is gonna empty itself eventually. Same for here, all the shape, every, anything that could come in that is not needed is just gonna get thrown away. So if it only perfectly fine. And these shapes, well, they're stuck here, but that's not a big deal. There's only a few that are stuck is uh, the remainders. And you can see the ones that came in prior into the stacker are getting discarded already. And these parts also that already are stacked layers are gonna get discarded as well. And the same should happen here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that even happens here. Anything that got stacked prior <coughs> that is currently not needed anymore is getting thrown away entirely. And now both machines start working on their respective parts, which will take a while until they fully ramp up since, well, there's a lot of moving shapes from one part to another. And yeah, so this thing also can paint. Like I said, there are paint mixes. This takes four paints input and spits out any single paint 
at maximum capacity that is desired from the basic colors to the combined colors and also white. Sadly, I could not make it into a single tile paint uh, mixer because you need four different colors to make white. Sadly, since you need uh, two combined colors and each of them will require two, diff uh, two base colors. So you need one base color doubled, which I chose to be red. And yeah, so basically that's it. This machine will continue working. It will make a thing. Eventually a new shape will come out. Eventually all other shapes that are currently in the machine will be purged out. And the next shape is gonna be made. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Took me quite some time to get to this point. But I'm happy it works. I assume there's gonna be a third layer, but for that, essentially, all I have to do is build another uh, of these machines and throw it uh, full with shapes, and then add another stacking step similar to the other ones over here, and then I can make three layers. I didn't care for the ones that use the crystals yet, since they are another beast entirely to make and much more difficult either way that would be all i have to tell about the machine i'm pretty proud of this creation although i think it could be improved still and it's still a bit slow from part from time to time especially when new shapes are gonna get made but it actually it could be it could be significantly worse so i'm actually fine with it Yeah, that's it. Thanks for listening and have a nice day.